Hi guys, welcome to Demolition Ranch. This episode is a very special episode. And you may be wondering why I'm talking so much more calm and more tranquil than usual. And that's because everything around here is so zen now. And it's making me so zen that I, I just can't even be excited if I want to be excited. That's because we've done a few things with the place. Welcome to the Demolition Den. I'll show you around in just a second, but first I want to thank our sponsor. This episode is sponsored by Simply Safe. Let me tell you a little more about them. Simply Safe is incredibly effective and reliable home security. It's monitored by professionals 24 seven and they will call you in the event of emergency or they'll send help if needed. There are also a lot of cool little features like small sensors that you hardly notice on your doors and windows. Also, if you leave a door open too long, it will remind you. That's my home base over there. It looks really nice. You can't even tell. You put in a central location in your house, you have these little key fobs, and let's say I'm, I'm leaving to go to work. I'm gonna hit away. Please exit now. No, I'm home. Alarm off. Not only is it super easy to use, it's also super easy and intuitive to set up. You use your keypad here and you can totally set up everything and add all your new devices. We have motion sensors here. We have glass break sensors here. This is just a panic sensor that if I want to set off the alarm, I hold that. Ah! Oh, alarm. It works. They also have cameras. You can set up multiple cameras in your house and hey. It works. Simply Safe is equipped for worst case scenarios. So if you lose power, you lose Wi-Fi, you get hacked, it still works. And they have no contracts and no hidden fees, which is what I like most about it. And it's something that, you know, we have protection at this house, a lot of it. And I have some neighbors and some friends who can protect my house as well. They know how to do stuff like this. And so I feel pretty safe, but I thought, why not? This is so easy, no contract to lock you in, it just makes sense. So if you're interested, and if you want to help support the channel, go check out simplysafe.com slash demo ranch. It helps out what we do here to help make big videos for you guys, and you guys get a good product that I think you'll really like. Now back to the show, this is going to be a good one. Come, come, sit, kick your feet up. This couch is made from the finest Italian leather. You might think it just looks like woven cheap cotton, but that's what's so nice about it. It's actually made from leather woven super thin. It's kangaroo skin. And you might not think there's kangaroos in Italy. There aren't, because we kill them all to make this couch. Super nice, I know. That's why it's so expensive. It cost me like $700,000. Over here, new lamp, yeah. It's just a regular, it's my mom's lamp. This though, the end table that it's on, doubles as a dishwasher as well. It's saving the environment because now we don't have two things, we just have one. Reduce, reuse, recycle. This table though, don't get me started on this table. I love everything about this table. This table cost me $14 million. Worth it though. It's just going to increase in value forever. This actually was owned by a pharaoh. It's a, it's a really nice face. And the funny thing about it, the pharaoh's ashes are in there. He was cremated. I, he wanted to be mummified, but they got him cremated and I got his ashes. And these flowers, they're real. They're they're real flowers. In the movies, you see people getting shot at, and so they jump behind a couch, or they flip over a table and get cover behind it, and it stops the bullets. It always works in every situation in the movies. I wanna see about real life. You guys wanna see about real life. You've been telling me, Matt, test furniture. That's what we aim to do. So we went out and got all this stuff, spent almost two million bucks on all these fancy things just for you guys. I hope you appreciate it. We are going to test these things and see if they can stop bullets. But we need a gun. Do we have a gun? Oh, we've got a gun. Have you guys heard of the Gilboa DBR snake? It's an AR-15. You guys know I like AR-15s, right? Just, just an AR-15. No biggie. Until you look at it from any other direction besides the side and you realize it is not a regular AR-15, and it is a biggie. This is the DBR Snake Double Barrel AR-15. Look at it, it's got two magazines. Holy, I mean, you can see it a little wider than normal. That's because this is two guns, basically, but in one package. So let's break it down. Two barrels, for two barrels, you're probably gonna need two gas tubes, right? Yeah, well, we got that, there's one. There's another, this is a gas impingement system, dual gas tubes. So you're probably gonna need two magazines, right? Yeah, we got that, two magwells there, okay? 
that makes sense so far. You can probably just do one safety, right? So yeah, we actually only have one safety. It goes all the way across. But what about bolt releases? So when you open this thing up, it does not connect through there. You can't see through, but both sides are open. But the interesting thing is you can close them one at a time. So let's close the left side, closed. Let's close the right side closed. So the two sides fire totally independent of each other, which makes this not a machine gun. If you had one trigger here and you pulled it and both barrels fired, that'd be a machine gun. But we have two triggers. So I can fire one, and I can fire the other. Or if you want to do both at the same time, you can pull them both. That was two triggers firing, knocking down two hammers, firing two bullets at the same time. Here's where it looks different though. You can see we have two different trigger groups in there and it's a lot wider. Two separate buffer tubes, totally independent from one another. We have two bolt carrier groups, right? We have one crazy looking charging handle. I just got this gun, I put a red dot on it and I have yet to shoot it. Let's change that. I thought it might look kinda cool to put some 40 round mags in this thing. I was right. All right, let's see what the old Gilboa snake can do. All right, I'm gonna go right, left, right, left. <laughs> now I'm just gonna fire right barrel. Now just left barrel. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love it. I love everything about it. It shoots great. And it's actually really fun to shoot. But now let's get to the meat of this video. I want to see if any of that stuff's bulletproof. First, we're going to go for the lamp because there's no way that thing's bulletproof. I'm going to fire one bullet. I made it look like I was going to say five or four. I'm going to fire one bullet at that lamp. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to hide behind it. Hold up. Hold, I didn't actually think it'd stay together like that. That's pretty good. Okay, the front of it, I only shot one bullet, so that just chipped. The front of it, oh, that's a good crack going on there. The back of it, oh, 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 that, ah! Dang it, my lamp. What about a vase full of an Egyptian pharaoh's remains? AKA, I put dirt in it. Vase, uh, let's go left barrel on this vase. That's looking good. Let's just go check it out real quick. Oh, it came down low. It came out right there. Weird. What is that? I think this this thing needs to be shot again. It's got concrete on the inside. Tiny little entry hole. There's our exit hole right there. Listen, we don't have a freaking double barrel AR-15 for nothing. I don't know if it translated onto the camera, but the sound of two barrels going off at one time is Kind of crazy. <laughs> that sounds insane. All right, not many people uh, hide necessarily behind a dishwasher, but we got a stellar deal on it, so I went ahead and just picked it up as well. Let's shoot one top right and one, we'll shoot one bottom left, and we'll see if uh, it stopped it. There's, there's no way that stopped it. Not a gutted dishwasher. It's legit. <laughs> And there's a hole there, a hole there, and a hole there somehow, and dents. So this bullet broke apart, but still came out. So yeah, dishwasher, that's not stopping anything. What was that noise? Take cover, there's bad guys coming in. Dang it, hold on, hold on, bad guy. Oh, dang it. Okay, uh, let's pretend that really worked well, and the table didn't just fall apart. Um, and then we'll take cover behind it. Let's go ahead and fire five rounds, and I bet you out of five rounds, all five will go through the table. Look that way. These are exit wounds. One, two, it actually went through that board and this board. Three, four, five. Don't hide behind a wooden table. So here's what we do with the couch. Since it's a big target, I'm gonna shoot as fast as I can. That's what I assume a bad guy would be doing 
if I was hiding behind the couch, he would just be pumping it full of lead, right? So let's just open fire on the couch and there's no way it's gonna stop. Empty, empty. <laughs> oh, freaking awesome. Front side actually looked pretty good. Like, if this was in your grandma's house, you would never wonder why there's bullet holes. You can't, you can't see them. So let's come around here. Ooh, we got some, we got some bullet holes. Ooh, this one hit wood. I can feel broken wood on the other side of that. There's a bullet hole, there's a bullet hole. Here are a bunch of bullet holes. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I am about 120% certain none of those bullets stopped. A lot of you might be thinking like, well, you got two barrels. Is it gonna be good for like long range shooting? Like, of course you can go in and clear a house with this thing, but what if you're shooting, you know, 100 yards? Well, I mean, really, even if you sight in just one barrel, the other barrel technically should only be hitting about an inch and a half away from the target. So both of them should be on easily at 100 yards. Turn this thing down a bit. That was our right barrel. How's our left? Yeah. Easy peasy. Now this is a 1x scope. I uh, have not taken this thing out any further, but at 100 yards, super easy to hit a target all day. That target we have over there is about probably 18 inches wide, so a normal like silhouette sized target. Piece of cake. The Demolition Den is protected by SimpliSafe and the double barreled snake. We're gonna do a mag dump. I have two full 30 round magazines and we're gonna empty this thing. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. Comment below what you want to see us do with the double barreled AR-15. I love you and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hawk? Bobby?